In today's video, I'll be continuing the Forged Kitchen Tool series by forging a butcher's axe. Enjoy. The first thing I did was draw the rough shape of the axe on a piece of spring steel, then using my angle grinder, I cut it out. Here, I'm just forging the rough shape of the tank. Right now I'm just marking off a small section of the end of my tang for where I will forge the pommel. Then it's back to the bick of my anvil to start forging the pommel. Now I'm just flattening the tang a bit so that it's not as heavy. And then I just refine the tang a bit. Then I flip the steel around and using a cross beam hammer I started shaping the head of the axe. Here I'm just flattening out the rest of the head so that it's the same thickness as the tank. And now I'm just refining everything to reduce the amount of grinding I'll have to do later. Then I took the axe over to my leg vise to straighten it. And 
with all of the forging done, I then moved over to my belt grinder to grind everything down to bare metal. If you don't have a belt grinder, you can do this just as easily with an angle grinder and a flapper disc. I had to use a Dremel to grind some of the hard to reach places. Then, I quenched the axe in vegetable oil. and gave it a rough edge on my belt grinder. I then put it in the oven at 220 degrees Celsius for an hour to temper it. Now I'm just drilling three 5mm holes. You should do this step before hardening the steel, but if you do forget like I did, then just use some good quality masonry drill bits. The first step in fitting the handle is to draw the outline of your tang onto your handle material. I'll put a link in the description to where I bought these knife scales. Then I went over to my drill press and used a 5mm bit to drill some holes. And now I'm just using a hacksaw to cut out the rough shape of the handles. Here I'm just cutting up three lengths of some 5mm round stock. Then I temporarily pin my two scales together and ground them down on my belt grinder to the line that I had made earlier. Now it's time to assemble the axe. So after 24 hours of cure time, I then cut off the excess of my steel pins. And shape the handle on my belt grinder. Then to finish off the handle I just gave it a quick sand with some 500 grit sandpaper.
Now I'm just using a bluing solution to darken the parts of the tang that would have been ground off whilst shaping the handle. Please make sure that unlike me you wear gloves when doing this process. And lastly I'm just giving the handle a fine coat of boiled linseed oil. Now I'm just sharpening it on my bow grinder. If you have any tips or suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, bye.